when um, I've said this before when I was seven my mum died when I was about 15 my dad got remarried and um, I ended up because it was me and my dad growing up in the house I all of a sudden end up with a stepmom and a stepsister psychologically it's like uh, someone invading your territory so you know I think there's from, from more from my point of view than anything else there was always a little tension whatever okay I probably didn't help it and my stepsister her name was Isabel um, we never really got on very well at all not didn't get on it was just it, it just not a fit not a gel and long story short uh, she got pregnant got married two daughters um, got uh, divorced separated whatever um, and I and some things happened and I wasn't happy with it so basically um, I stopped talking to her I was about I don't know 12 years ago maybe I don't know my, my timelines maybe slightly off maybe 10 years ago the last time I saw her was 10 years ago she's two years younger than me so back then she would have been about 38 she could barely walk with weight issues and you know then the, the next thing I heard is she'd gone off to Scotland got married blah 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 and that was basically it wasn't a taboo subject didn't really speak much about her or life or general or general or whatever however this week I got some uh, well, it was a shock I just got a messenger through Facebook saying Isabel died today now I didn't realize I've not been in touch she's not been well for a while but it's always weight based and apparently she was uh, extremely obese apparently I don't know and then I was talking to my stepmom who was obviously shook up about this but also pragmatic she said she'd been ill for a while it's always weight related da -da 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 -da. it's always weight related and then this happens turns out you know she thought she had something wrong with the knee uh, arthritis they said it was it was deep vein thrombosis and it was after an autopsy a uh, embolism something like that so what's my point here you just never know when the last time is you're gonna see someone till it's the last time do I regret anything yeah I don't know I don't think like that um, could I have made a get in shape no do people wake up obese overnight no okay so you know it happens am I shocked not entirely based on the last time I saw her so my message to you is this if you've fallen out with anyone friends family you know what today's a nice day to uh, mend that and just reach out say a quick hello and whatever it may be um, you know it wasn't a grudge thing with her it was just it was an action that happened that I didn't agree with the upside of it is I reconnected with her daughters this week and her ex-husband this week and all the rest of it so there's always an upside so from where am I now Prospect Park Brooklyn on this beautiful day go reach out to someone you not spoke with for a while have a great one. Bye-bye.